Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can set best visual setting in Enscape for SketchUp. So, first of all, it completely depends on your environment and your type of project. So, listen carefully to this video because we have some important tips and tricks about it. Let's get to work. First of all, I have some simple living room in here, as you can see in here. And we have some backdoor decoration in this place. And I want to set the best visual setting for it. So, visual setting related to the lighting and textures. So, when I click on the uh, visual setting in here, I can see lots of settings which depends on exterior, interior, and some image setting in here. But if you want to set best visual setting, first of all, you need to change your style from the anon mode to the white mode. It helps you to detect best lighting method for your job. After that, you need to press F, click on the uh, create view in here, and add some simple camera in this place. For example, I need to add, for example, these type of camera shot for myself. Don't pay attention to the hallways, it's not really important. 4.56 in here my eye height is the y position 1.56 and i think some number about negative 4.66 is better for the z option my pitch is zero and the y is about 281 and sun position so first step for visual setting is adjusting your sun position in interior renders so i'm gonna hold shift and right click and change the uh, time of the day for example something like this my aim and target is this decoration so i need some focusing sun on this area so i can adjust it something like that and i hold ctrl u and i i can change the uh, sun direction very simple and easy for example something like this can be really wonderful so azimuth is about 606 and altitude is about 21. So I'm gonna click on the create option and click on the camera number one and close it. Now time for adjusting the resolution. So I'm gonna click on the visual setting. Last option is the output and I will change the resolution to the custom mode. Now my resolution is the 101. So when I click on the save frame, I can see this type of aspect ratio. So I'm going to click on the visual setting and now time for setting out the best visual setting for our job. I'm going to start with the field of view. My target is this decoration. So I need to focus more on it. Something like that, for example. And I can see all the details very well in here. So I will move it in here. Some number about 38 is great. And exposure can be increased, but not right now. So I will turn off the outline because outline make your renders much darker. My rendering quality is good, but if I want to focus on something, I need depth of field. So I will turn on the depth of field, turn off the autofocus, and now I can play with the focal point to reach to the best result. For example, this place is sharper than other places and it's really wonderful. And depth of field value is something about 11 is good. Now I will go to the image bar, auto contrast is on. If I reset the saturation and color temperature, I can see some differences. So I need some warm render. I need to reduce the color temperature to some number about 4600 Kelvina. Motion blur is zero, lens flare is zero, bloom option is not really important because I need some sharp render. This is the best visual setting for most interior renders, but it depends on different projects. Wignate can be decreased to the 10 and chromatic is not really important. I need some contrast so I can add this contrast with the saturation. 106% is enough. In the atmosphere, I don't need any additional fog in here. Sun brightness can be decreased. So if I decrease the sun brightness to the a zero, something like this will happen. 
it really helps you because in the real world and real renders we don't have some type of sun brightness like that it's really rare so i think six percent is enough some number like that some value lower than 10 can really help you render much realistic if you want some hyper realistic render now you can play with these three items shadow sharpness artificial light brightness and ambient brightness look at these places in your render these edges or some places which not catch enough light when i increase the ambient brightness all of these places will be get brighter it works like a hyper light in lumion so some number about 74 is enough artificial light brightness not really useful now because we don't have any spotlights but i will talk about it shadow sharpness related to these shadows if i increase it to the 100 something like that will happen and it's not really realistic so try to use soft shadows something like that wind is not really useful and the sky option first of all we have the horizon when i change it to the white cubes some type of gi calculation will be completely different from before preset so I try to use white ground in here. If I increase the density of the clouds, you can see what really happened inside of your house and it's really great. So it completely depends on your taste. I will turn it off to the uh, zero. Output is good. And I think everything is done. But I prefer to use zero for my interior. Now I will come back to the main bar click on the white option and turn it to the none mode so textures is really disaster and awful but don't worry we will check it out so i will minimize it in here click on the uh, sketchup click on the enscape material editor sample paint in here and pick up this texture in this place i can click on these three dots in here and click on the replace with enscape material so i need some type of wood for example i can click on the wood option in here and i think some type of plywood or maybe empty wood can be really helpful for my job i prefer to use some type of wood like for example wood number 17 or maybe something like 37 can be good or 43 i prefer to use this one I can click on the replace, it takes a little bit of time and after that you can see what happened in your job. So, about the backside wall color, it's not really good. So, before I click on it and change it, I can play with parameters. So, look at this table in here. When I decrease the roughness, I can see more reflection on the surface of it. So, it's really good and helpful. 12% is enough. Intensity is about 126. Metallica is about 7. Roughness is about 21. It completely depends on your job and project or your client's taste. So it's enough for this place. I will click on the sample paint another time. This time I will pick up the wall color so dark kind is not really good i will change it to some type of dark color like that or maybe white color it completely depends on you but i prefer to use some special color like this for example it's much better or maybe some type of dark gray can be good so roughness is not really good enough i will reduce it a little bit because i need more light if you need more light in your environment you can change the uh, roughness and metallica is about eight percent all right everything is good for us now i will click on the uh, specular specular is about brightness and reflection on the uh, surfaces 59 percent is enough and i think nothing in here is left of so i will click on the sample paint for the last time and click on these floor in here wood number four i can click on these three points replace with escape material click on the wood and i need to pick up the uh, cavern in here and click on the uh, replace 
So Chevron replaced for us. Now I can remove the uh, reflection texture in here and reduce the number to the 11%. Uh, now it's much realistic. So it completely depends on you and your project. Finally, if you want to cover your render, you need to click on the uh, Enscape Asset Library in this place and click on the uh, these icon categories and in this part called vegetation you can add different type of vegetations into about interior design but i prefer to use accessories and if you type flower in here some number of flowers will appear for you and if you type vase in this place you have better options in here i prefer to use this vase in here for example, something like that. I will click on the selection, select it, scale, and rescale it a little bit. Something like that, and click on the apply changes. Now it's much better. So time for the rendering, but before I do this job, I have some problem with this tabloid in here. I will click on the Enscape Material Editor another time. Sample paint, pick it up. And I need to reduce the uh, roughness of it to the uh, 24. It's much better right now. And I can reduce the image fade to fade it up a little bit. Something like that. So I can close it. Click on it. Click on the visual setting. And last option is the saving. If I click on this place. And click on these create presets. I will custom preset number one. It's created for us. Now I can click on it and save as file in anywhere I want. So you can save your visual settings by this action. Everything is done for us right now. And custom preset number one is selected. I will turn off the save frame. Click on this place. Close it. Output. Custom. 1080 save frame again and 38 is enough so this is about our render i can increase the uh, exposure a little bit about 74 it's much better than the other times auto contrast is on and now time for the uh, rendering i can click on the uh, render option in here and save it as the uh, test number one on my desktop and press save. As you see, setting out the best visual setting for your renders in Enscape is a little bit hard work because it depends on different projects and different conditions. But if you work well and train every day, you can increase your ability in adjusting these visual presets. And this is the uh, final render in here. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. If you like this content and tutorial, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. You can follow up our Instagram on the channel's bio. So thanks for watching and goodbye.